First time I ever actually sailed on a cruising catamaran was close to 20 years ago, and it was on an old Leopard 47, which at the time was the flagship of Robertson and Kane. 20 years since then, catamaran design has changed exponentially. And today I'd love to take you out on board Sea Dog, a Leopard 50, which is a current flagship from Robertson and Kane, and quite possibly one of the best boats in her class. So for today's tour, we're gonna kind of walk through the spaces in the order that you'd naturally kind of use them throughout the course of the day while on a boat like Sea Dog. For me, that really is up here on the Sky Lounge where I would start my day, either up here before we get underway for the day, having coffee and breakfast, or even once we're sailing. This is probably where I would find myself because I'd be surrounded with my family and friends and still have a good eye at what's happening at the helm down below. I like how the seats are nice and deep, but equally important, I like how high the backrest is too, which gives it a very loungy feel. And like we'll see throughout the boat, there's also a fusion zone controller for the stereo up here so you can control your tunes while sitting on the bridge. Usually after my morning coffee, I'd make my way down to the helm, which is only a couple steps away where I'd fire up the Yanmar engines and start getting ready to set sail and pick up anchor. So this boat is incredibly easy to maneuver single-handed because of these three large Lumar electric winches. And by having all powered winches, there's no need to even really use your winch handles. We've also got really good angle to look at all of your Raymarine electronics. So all the information you need is always just a glance away. So all the way here on the outboard side, we have the throttle controls, which made it incredibly easy getting out of the slip this morning. And I'm sure it'll be equally simple going back. The window is also perfectly positioned in the hardtop to allow me to see the mainsail as I'm going up. There's a few things I can tell you definitively about the Caribbean. And one of those is it's gonna rain today somewhere. So having a nice enclosure that you can just deploy when needed, easily dip away from one of those quick moving Caribbean squalls will just make life on board more comfortable. A Couple of other things that'll make life on board more comfortable are these integrated grab rails as you make your way forward, the flush mounted hatches, and kind of a small, probably often overlooked detail is the drainage channels built into the tow rail. So kind of the next natural space that people come to while out sailing on a boat like Sea Dog is the foredeck area. There's also the dolphin seats on both the port and starboard bow. This particular boat is also equipped with the factory cushion set. Now we're unable to show those today because they're having brand new cushions made for the boat as we speak that are gonna look absolutely stunning. So underfoot here on the starboard side, we've got a large storage lazarette. Now the anchor chain is in the center lazarette and as you can see, no chain runs on the deck, which not only gives it a much cleaner line, but also much safer from a user experience. And then over here in this port lazarette, we've got the uh, Northern Lights generator, which is easily accessed on all sides. From here, we're gonna make our way into arguably the nicest space on the boat, the Ford cockpit. You know, the Ford cockpit design concept, whatever, is not a new thing. I mean, the Chris White designs of the 80s, 90s were kind of the first boats that I think of when I think of a Ford cockpit. But Leopard took that design and implemented what is arguably the best in-class Ford cockpit. I mean, when you look at the market share Leopard's taken since coming out with their Ford cockpit in 2012 to what we have today, it is absolutely the DNA of the Robertson & Kane brand. All the way behind me on the starboard side, we've got a nice large day bed, which is out of the sun and in the shade. That really complements the new day beds that'll be sitting up for it here when they're done being manufactured. There's also storage in the lazarette below me here, um, which you can never have enough storage on a cruising catamaran. Across from me, we have an L-shaped settee with a nice table that'll pop up if you want to do outdoor, you know, coffee, tea, breakfast, or hors d'oeuvres before making your way into the salon. This is a place you will find me pretty much any time I'm out on a leopard catamaran in the afternoon. And there's so many things that you don't think about with this space that are kind of added value. The ventilation you get when this door is open through the cockpit, through the salon, it's like having the largest opening hatch you could ever find. Makes it so much more comfortable throughout the rest of the bridge deck level. Another nice thing is if you're sailing with kids, it's a lot safer having them go through this door into the salon to the cockpit versus walking on the weather decks. So there's just a couple of little added values in having you know the forward cockpit with the front door that we don't see in other makes and models. 
So from here, I want to take you guys back around to the cockpit of the boat and show you what's going on back there is kind of the place where you end up usually ending your day on a sailing catamaran. I mean, we talk about cockpits on sailing catamarans all the time because it is a place that you spend so much time on board. And we're not gonna go into too much detail on Sea Dog's cockpit because quite frankly, the cockpit on the Leopard 50 is just perfectly laid out. We also, on the stern of the boat, have the upgraded hydraulic platform, which is not only the perfect place to store your tender, but a great place to get people in the water, get in the water to go scuba diving, set up a beach club, and really creates a nice extension of the cockpit into the aft deck area. So both the starboard and port, we have really good access to the upgraded Yanmar 4JH motors, which are both paired to Yanmar SD60 sail drives, which are a huge improvement over the old SD50 units found in older boats. And then over here on the port side, in addition to the dive style ladder, we've got the Magma barbecue grill and probably one of the most important features on any catamaran, the hot cold shower that easily deploys out of the step here. And obviously we're gonna talk about the cockpit. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the most important places on any catamaran. And this particular boat is another great example of a great cockpit. One item that isn't always evident when you're shopping online for a catamaran is how comfortable an actual settee is. On a boat like Sea Dog, the seats are nice and deep and the backrests are quite high. So it is a really, really comfortable place to lounge out while either underway or at nighttime. And adjacent to this large L-shaped settee with integrated storage, we've got this oversized U-shaped settee currently set up with dining for six. Although I've comfortably sat at a table just like this with 10 friends just having a great time after a long day out on the water. There's also the propane locker here on the forward side, as well as additional storage aft, as well as along the rear bench, which articulates both for forward seating and rearward facing seating. A Couple of steps here from the cockpit brings you up to the helm. So when you are at the helm, you're never disconnected from the group, be it if they're up top on the sky lounge or down here in the cockpit. There is also a drawer style Vitra Frigo fridge which means a cold beverage is never too far away. So for those nights where you just need a break from the heat or there's inclement weather, we also have a U-shaped settee inside, which is the perfect place to catch a little air conditioning after dealing with the hot Caribbean sun. Great place for interior dining, great place to have breakfast in the morning, and also just a nice place to turn on a movie after a long day of adventuring around the Caribbean Sea. This table opens up, which means you can comfortably sit eight people on the interior of the boat. This boat is being used for crew yacht charters, which means a professionally trained chef has zero issue turning out five-star meals for not only the owner when they're on board, but also any charter guests. Tons of storage beneath the countertop, and equally important when you're preparing a fine dining experience, you've got your cold storage right next to where you need it to be. When you get done cooking those five-star meals, it involves a lot of cleanup afterwards. Nobody likes doing dishes, but with a window like this right in front of your large single basin sink, the view that we've got ahead, I mean, I can't think of a better place to do dishes than a view like this. Port Ford in the salon, we've got the Ford facing nav station, which has got a Raymarine VHF, touchscreen Raymarine display, as well as the fusion controller and the salon air conditioning controller. So we're gonna check out the first of four guest staterooms on board Sea Dog. And in this case, it'll be the Port Ford guest stateroom. You'll see it's beautifully appointed with plenty of storage, not only under the berth, but on the inboard side. And just like all of the cabins on board Sea Dog, it's an ensuite with a separate shower stall. And a quick side note, the Spectra water maker membranes and boost pump are located under this port forward bed. Moving aft, we get to the second stateroom, which I consider the VIP on board Sea Dog. It's a semi walk around berth flooded with natural light from the wind on the outboard side overhead as well as to the stern. We 
we're going to go to the starboard forward cabin, which in this particular case is being used as a crew cabin by the full-time professional crew on board. And saving the best for last, let's check out the master stateroom, which is just so warm inviting it's the kind of place that i just want to go to after a long day on the water or if i'm doing a passage when i'm off watch it's very inviting semi walk around berth tons of storage both on the inboard side and the outboard side and what's not to love about the head all the way forward in that stateroom You know, you look at the Leopard 50, most people see them at boat shows or on the internet, and you, you look and you see, you know, this awesome platform for entertaining, for living, et cetera, et cetera. What most people don't realize though, is that even though this is a big, heavy cruising catamaran, it's still a great sailing catamaran. We had 10 to 15 knots out there today. We were easily doing seven to nine knots, which in my book, it doesn't get much better than that sailing seven to nine knots while still having all of the creature comforts at home. If you have any interest in Sea Dog and think she might be the perfect next boat for you, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you love our channel, please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys so much. Can't wait to see y'all on the next video walkthrough.